Hello. I hope you're doing very, 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 very well. Today, I am going to be answering questions from you to celebrate 2,000 subscribers. This is awesome, and I absolutely never thought I would get there, but I am so grateful. Is grateful and thankful the same? I am both of those things. To be in the spot in, in my garage, which I, I guess I live in now. So, you see my handwriting? It's pretty, it's pretty awful. It's like a child's. Um, my handwriting so, is so bad that whenever my grandfather died and it fell to my family, my part, like my parents, my sister and I, to write the not thank you cards, but the thank you for coming, thank you for sending flowers, those cards, uh, I wasn't allowed to write them or even address them because <laughs> my family is so embarrassed of my awful handwriting. So I have split these questions down into three categories. Smoking, because you all love smoking, y'all. Leather and other we're going to do this so smoking am i a regular smoker or occasional i am an occasional smoker i used to smoke well it's gone up a little bit lately because of you guys but i like it so i used to smoke a couple of times a year just whenever i would have a glass of wine or something and I just enjoyed it. I liked playing with the smoke. I liked watching it. It just complemented drinking, usually drinking really well, but never have I ever even now craved cigarettes or anything like that. I just, I, it seems like it's really an art form and I appreciate all kinds of art forms. So it's just really interesting to me. Okay. Can't answer all of them. When did you start? I think I'm old. I think I think I was 18. Um, and I think I think it was I smoked one cigarette in my backyard with my best friend at the time. Yes, and that was it. Do you plan on making more smoking videos? I sure do. I just bought a couple cigars because speaking of smoking being an art form, I've been watching videos about people making cigars and all the rules about smoking them and it just seems very complex and interesting to me. So I want to make a cigar smoking video. Oh, other part, with bigger cigars. Yes, with bigger cigars. Can you do smoke tricks? No, I try. I accidentally, someone pointed out, I accidentally made a smoke ring, <laughs> very accidentally, uh, in, in a video. But I, I want to. I appreciate people who do can. I just can't. Okay. And the French inhale. I watched a video on that and it looks super sexy and awesome and I would love to learn how to do that. So I think I'm actually going to try. Try to figure it out. Probably not on camera because... It'll probably end up in some coughing fits. Okay, next section, leather. Do I enjoy the leather videos? I love leather. It's something, uh, I say it's, is reverent the right word? I don't know. I was an art major, so I guess vocabulary kind of escaped me. Um, yes. I love the feel of leather. I love how it smells. Oddly, I guess you can kind of tell how it tastes from how it smells. I love everything about it. It just feels very special to me. What leather clothes do you own? Well, I have these boots. I have um, several pairs of leather flats, flat shoes. Um, I have a the weird leather poncho thing that I've shown in videos. I have my new black leather jacket, the Indiana Jones, which is really appropriate 
to call it the brown leather jacket um yeah a, two pairs of three pairs of leather gloves that's about it which ones would you like to buy in the future um i want to get a pair of leather pants probably not to wear with the gloves or or shoes or jacket because then i'm just like a walking fetish but i like leather pants with non-leather clothes with them um how many leather jackets do you own yeah two two jackets and the poncho i don't know if the poncho thing counts cape cape sounds cooler leather cape um what who got you into liking leather um no one i have just always really liked it my mom had leather gloves while i was growing up and i would steal them from her and wear them sometimes and i don't know it just kind of feels it sounds stupid it feels like powerful like when you pick up a leather coat or like something that's really nice leather it just feels nice and i am a collecting type of person so i have, I have collections all over my house um i just love collecting things like a magpie except not everything i collect is shiny so whenever i like something i want a lot of it and i really like leather so i like collecting it i guess you can say i'm materialistic but but it is definitely not material things are definitely not the most important thing to me i just appreciate them i like gathering things like an animal why are you so gangster though uh, <laughs> i don't know what do you think of love um i love love i think love is the most important thing in the world whether it be between parents and children or significant others or just general family groups i think that obviously it's to me it's obvious that that's the most important thing that you can strive for is to have as much of that as possible and i don't think love is there's it's not finite i think you can love lots of people so I don't mean like <laughs> open marriage. I mean like, uh, like love can just get bigger. I don't think that if you love someone and then you love someone else, it, it, you're taking away from someone you already love. I think it just, it's n neat in the way that it just can get bigger and bigger and, and a lot of things in life aren't like that. What makes you happy? So outside of love, which is the main answer, you know, but probably working on projects, working to make things pretty. I love house renovation projects. I like tiling. I like painting, I like how like painting in a room. I used to like art paint, but I don't do that so much anymore. I should start but really just taking something that needs love and attention and giving it some I love that it makes me feel like I don't know it makes me feel important and like that I can do things what music do you like who is your favorite artist? I like indie rock. Um, I was in an indie rock band for a while. That was fun. I played bass and sang. Um, my favorite artist, you know, it changes. I, I love the Foo Fighters. I know they've been around forever. I know that's a really mainstream answer, whatever, but I, I love all of the Foo Fighters. I've listened to them since I was 15 and I love them. I, I don't know. 
I also love the Smashing Pumpkins and Hey Mercedes. Uh, I love Third Eye Blind, but I don't know if that's strictly strictly the nostalgia or if I legitimately like them. Uh, I love Sublime. So that's some of it. Okay. Do you like MMA slash Muay Thai? Muay, Muay Thai? Uh, fighting. I have nothing against it, but I don't know anything about it. I'm sure I would enjoy going and like, <laughs> I almost said watching a game, watching a fight, but, but I don't watch it on my own. Let's see. What books do you recommend? I am boring. I like classics. I like Wuthering Heights and all the other classic books the girls like. So, no. I like Frankenstein and Dracula and uh, what other books have I really enjoyed? I like The Count of Monte Cristo. Um, I like Sherlock Holmes. I, I, I don't read a lot of it. I mean, I, I like a story here and there of that. I, I can't read, read too much of it at once. But yeah, cl classic. Classics. Picture of Dorian Gray. I also really like that. Oh, oh, oh. But my guilty pleasure reading is totally Stephen King. If you, if you saw the, um, my, my latest Halloween haul. You can see all these stacks of books going up my steps in the background. They are all Stephen King. I love Stephen King because I love the 80s and like vintage, which one of the reasons I love like vintage 80s Halloween stuff. I just, I love fall 80s New England. So most of Stephen King's books are set in New England, usually Maine and so I loved visiting there growing up. I still love Maine and it just makes me feel like I'm in New England. And then I also love everything horror. So then when people die, it just makes it that much better. Okay. Oh, this ties in. What is your favorite state? Maine, actually Maine and Kentucky. I live in Kentucky. I love Kentucky. It's just, I was born in Kentucky. It's just something about thoroughbreds and the black horse fences and the blue tint to the grass which we actually do have blue grass I love Kentucky but Maine Maine's where it's at all of New England really but Maine is my favorite state what is your favorite kind of weather really extreme storms I love thunder and lightning and feeling a little bit uncertain as to whether or not I should go into the basement. That's the best weather. Okay. What are your earliest memories of ASMR? I've said uh, Alfred Hitchcock, um, Psycho, whenever the main character lady, who I should totally know the name of, but I don't remember, is hiding the money that she stole in newspapers and she's folding it to in her hotel room I I got ASMR then I really liked that so I liked it whenever she was wrapping things in newsprint I also like in grade school whenever I would watch other little kids color I would get it with that um, I slept in my sister's bed for a long time whenever I was very little um, probably until six or seven and at night we would take turns scratching each other's backs and to me getting a back scratch or like a back massage isn't really about the like touching it's like I get a very, I get ASMR very strong as it's happening, which is interesting because if I'm not comfortable with someone and they try to give me a massage, I guess, or if I don't know them, because I, I got a massage a year ago um, and like I didn't know the, obviously the girl at all and like I just, 
wasn't really feeling it and like it was just weird getting a massage without also having the ASMR aspect of it. So I ha I got that a lot whenever I was little with my sister. Um, these are kind of related. What, are, what trigger sounds relax you? What are your personal triggers? I love tapping and I'm, I'm really big into like hand movements like uh, southern, I think it's southern sounds ASMR like how she'll like trace necklaces and stuff. Like I can watch it on mute and get ASMR from it. I love it. Um, crinkles sometimes, um, like lipstick, um, pulling it, the wet sound of like lipstick. I like that. Um, liquid lipstick. What is your job? Uh, I work part time as a graphic designer out of my house um, because my my parents have a business and I I was a graphic designer separate from them for a very long time um, at a a diamond company actually <laughs> uh, that was random but I was like an in house designer there for three years and I did some several other jobs but. Um, when I was going to stop working because I had my daughter, who's now two, and my parents wanted help, and so I said I would. So I do, I do graphic design work for them sometimes. Uh, my dream job, kind of doing it, but when she goes to school, my goal is to get a job at the library. I know it's sad, but I think it's like the lowest rung of person is the person who shelves books. But whenever I worked at the art library and music library in college, I loved it. And, and I just want to go in and just shelve books for hours and hours and hours. Just cause I love it. It's relaxing to me. I, it's the best. That's my, it's my dream job. Okay. Hobbies besides ASMR. I love finding little like crafty things to do. I'm always getting into something. I find like one area of the house and then I fixate on it. And then I have to like do everything I can to like make that one little area better. And then I move on and I pick another area and I work on it. And it's, I get very like, fixated on things. But yeah, I like going to antique stores a lot. And I really, really enjoy being outside. I just go and sit on the front porch a lot and just watch all the neighbors like a big creep. What would surprise us to know? Wouldn't you like to know? Uh, uh, there aren't any big things I'm pulling out. I kind of just say whatever pops into my head, which I think is probably pretty obvious. Um, I'm super flexible. I can put my, that, that, that's, I thought of that whenever I was showing you that I have my leather shoes on. I've never mentioned that, but that doesn't really matter. Um, I don't know. As I think of it, I'll say it. How tall are you? I am 5'7", which is decently tall for an American female, but I've heard that it is short for some some countries. How old are you? I am 32 years old. I still get carded a lot. I don't know. What is your reason to make videos? I started making videos. Oh, actually, this kind of ties into that last question, the last question. What was your reason to make videos? How did you discover the feeling of ASMR? Which I guess is also. I, I don't know, probably four or five years ago, I started watching these videos of people who had these miniature kitchens and they would make like miniature food. And I guess in Japan, like back in the 80s, they had like 
little fake food that you could make, like made out of chemicals, like you couldn't eat it. Like you'd put it in this little liquid thing and like fried shrimp would bounce and look like it was boiling, but you could not eat it. And then, uh, so I would watch videos of people making that and that would give me ASMR, but I didn't really think about that that was what was happening. I just knew that watching those videos really relaxed me. I had no idea that there was something called ASMR. And then eventually, just after several years of watching those videos, I think I just got like a suggested ASMR one or one of them said like ASMR and I was like, what is that? And then I fell into the ASMR rabbit hole. I found Gentle Whispering, I think was the first. Um, yeah, and then I found Peace and Serenity soon after that and I've just been watching ever since but yeah people make but the Japanese people that like the that would be making the the, the food um wouldn't speak and the main guy I watched said that it was because he didn't know English and he knew a lot of English people watched it so he would rather just not speak and then add subtitles if he needed to. And so that, I think that really added to the ASMR part of it because like he, you would hear like the scraping of, with the plastic and just like smacky sounds of the food getting stirred and stuff. Smacky sound. So that really started it for me. So I guess, yeah, YouTube really helped me figure out my my ASMR thing. And then whenever I started watching ASMR videos, I started tapping on things randomly and like really liking sounds of things. And I was like, I can make a video of this. No one would ever watch it, but I can make a video of it. And then I finally one day started my channel after thinking about it for a very, very, very long time. And then I had five subscribers for a long time but then it kind of has taken off and it's awesome. So that's about me. Thank you for your question. I will see you in the next video. Bye.